Hello YouTube, this is Desiree aka Lady Pisces coming with a different game. This one is called Criminal Case. Now I am a huge fan of the Phoenix Wright games so I figured I would try a crime solving game and see how it goes. And I have a special guest with me, my boyfriend. Time is but a window. Time is but a window, also goes by profit. Or by me, goes by Honey. Yes. <laughs> but yeah, he's really, really, really smart, so I have him here in case I get stuck. Which I'll probably get stuck, and then he'll probably be like, nah, I already know who the killer is. <laughs> but don't worry, guys, I won't ruin it. But he won't ruin it. So here we go, we're gonna try this. Officer! A young woman was found dead at the entrance of town. We must inspect the crime scene in order to find clues. Tap to find a clue. That was easy. Don't you wish life was like that? Where you could just, <laughs> just tap, tap to find clues. Are you ready? Click anywhere to begin. Okay, let's let's get it on. Let's get it. Graphics are good. All right. Clearly, this person was a hoarder. There are six items in the list below. Find those items hidden within the scene and touch them. Okay, so this they just want to make sure that you know how to point. Yeah. Start by touching the newspaper. All right. Well, that was hard to find. First clue obtained, a newspaper. Great. When you need help, I can give you a hint. Try it now. Okay, so the knife is right there. All right. Well, first of all, uh... It's saying to point to the tricycle, so... Oh, I thought we should get all those. Congrats! Now, zoom in to see the smaller items. Try it out on that cigarette. Oh. Great! Next, let's zoom back out to see the whole scene again. Alrighty, there we go. Now, find the three remaining items hidden on the scene. Alright, it's not saying... Oh, the knife, the car, and the dead body. Well, here's the knife. There's... A clue. A bloody knife. It was the butler. It was the butler? <laughs> it was totally the butler. Okay, there's the car. And a dead body. That, that would be important. So, the car killed her with the knife. <laughs> the new clue. The was victim's... it James Dean's car? It was totally Dean's car, but it was, like, possessed by a ghost. The new clue, the victim's body. All right. Okay. We got two and a half star. One and a half star, actually. We got one and a half stars for that job. I think we did great. I think we did at least five stars. I mean, we hit everything. Yeah, I mean, how could we have done any better? I it really literally did. pointed them out for us. <laughs> I know. I really... I don't know, but okay. The victim's name was Rosa Wolf. We must send her body to lab for an autopsy. I like her last name. This bloody knife is our murder weapon. Congratulations, officer. You did great on your first investigation. Thanks, because, you know, you pointed about 90% of the stuff to us anyway. Mm -hmm. The murder weapon was found. The bloody knife. The death of Rosa Wolf. Here's your tablet. <laughs> it's a tablet inside of a phone. So it's a tablet there upon inside a tablet. Here's your tablet. This is where you pick up your next action. Click here to go to the lab. Welcome, officer. Click on autopsy button to begin. Isn't that your job to do the autopsy? Yeah, it kind of is, but you know what? He's on strike. Well, let me press the button. Oh, there it goes. Please wait a moment, officer. This won't be long. That was quick. For an wow, autopsy. for an autopsy, like this doctor this doctor's the fastest guy I've ever seen do an autopsy. I studied the wound on the victim's neck. Mind you, this only took a second. And I can tell you for sure that the killer is right-handed. I wonder, is that really even possible? Like, can guys actually find out 
what hand the killer used to kill. Yeah, you could see by where the wolf... fingerprints are, right? If it's a left hand or right hand. Well, on the knife, you could see fingerprints, but on yeah. the actual. Oh, yeah, on the, on the injury. On the injury, you could see where it came in from, where it was inserted from, and how they were holding them. Hmm. Officer, I've added this into your file. The killer is right handed. Officer, I'm Samuel King, the chief police, the chief police officer. According to a witness, the killer will wears a blue cap. All right, so he's right-handed and he wears a blue cap. That could be a lot of people. <laughs> Go back to the town entrance and inspect the wrecked house to find the evidence we're missing. New crime scene: the wrecked house. The killer wears a blue cap. I think he's going to leave the blue cap at that wrecked house. I don't know. Investigate wrecked house. Sure. All right. Hopefully we'll get five stars this time, because... Go. What is this, a game? It doesn't matter how many stars you get. It's if you accomplish the mission. Yeah, that's the important part. Investigate. There's the blue okay. hat. Let's see. Uh, uh, blue fabric is right there. Watermelon. I can go for some of that. The watermelon's right there. Tricycle. Tricycle is right there. Tire. Mailbox. Mailbox? What right there. You just uprooted that mailbox. The watering can. Right over there. It even shakes! <laughs> I really don't know what else we could do to get better scores. Level up. Wow, well we made it to level two, guys. Yay. I feel like it does the bulk of the work for you, though. Yeah, I'm really feeling like it's kind of treating me like I'm a first grader here. The torn fabric is covered in blood. Let's piece it back together and see what it looks like. Here's your forensic kit. This is where you examine the clues found on the crime scene. Ready? Oh boy, okay, this is pretty simple. This goes to that, this goes there, that goes there, and then this goes up here. Done. Wow, that was so hard. Yep. This football jersey has got the number nine on it. This is the evidence we were missing. I don't think we had to put it together to see that. Yeah, no, it, the number nine was very, very obvious. Let's arrest the killer? Wow, okay. He's probably a pro football player. We have two suspects in this case. You must compare their profiles in order to find the killer. Touch the first suspect to switch to a more detailed view. As you can see, this one has a lot in common with the killer. He's right-handed, and he's, he's got the blue cap. Let's have a look at the second suspect. He's got a blue cap as well. He has a blue cap, he's right-handed, and he's got the number nine. This is true. Do you think this one might be the killer? I guess you do. Your turn, officer. Arrest the suspect matching the killer's profile. We're gonna go with this one. Matt Barry, age 24, weight 180 pounds, eyes brown, blood A negative. We did it! Yay! That was so hard. You yeah. did well on this case. 
You deserve a bronze medal. A bronze? We deserve a gold. I think I deserve a gold. Yay. Get an officer suit. Okay. Alright, uh, definitely woman. It's basically customize your character. Oh, what are you... I don't want to be pale. That kind of looks like a vampire, so I'm going to go with that one. A vampire is a very good character. That's more me. And... Totally adopter. There so. you go. Done. There we go. Oh. All right. So for all my viewers, I'll just go by my little alias here. Quick. It seems like people are murdering each other all over the place. <laughs> all right, case two. Apparently, a corpse found in a garden. Hopefully, they get harder because this is very, very simple. I feel bad getting my boyfriend involved because he's really, really smart, and this is like underwhelming. <laughs> my six-year-old niece could probably solve these. Officer Lady Pisces. A man called Dave Simmons claims he saw a body parts in a junkyard garden. A junkyard garden? I didn't even know those existed. Okay. Go investigate and solve this case as fast as you can. To the junkyard. To the junkyard garden. The corpse in the garden. Is the bird the corpse? No. Well, let's hope not. I'm sure you open the window and let it in. Select a partner. Oh wow, I get to have a partner. So since you're technically like my partner, we gotta choose one that suits you. Well, none of them technically look like me. How about that one? Sure. That kind of looks like you. Okay. <laughs> no. Only just like add some glasses and give them longer hair and like make them thinner. Perfect. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's you. My name's Alex. His name is Alex. Investigate. Okay, can you find the target? Actually, um... Wow. Uh, okay, the target's getting a little... Wait. No, that's not a target. Okay, this might call for zoom. Zoom. I wonder why the handguns have no importance. <laughs> There's the tennis racket. Where? Oh, yep. Got the tennis racket. There's a... There's a can of paint. Where? It lights up when you're over here, too. Oh. There you go. Oh, man, so they light up when you're actually near them? Yeah. There's the hand. That's what it says, right? Yeah. Wow, we found someone's hand. That's never oh a my good gosh. sign. <laughs> we found somebody's hand. Okay. All right. Let's zoom There's back someone's out. Someone's ear. It doesn't. Oh wait! To find I it. found the crow. I found the bowling pin. Now the target. You know what, though? What? There was someone's ear. Wouldn't that be important? There was someone's ear. Yeah, that would totally be important. Okay, all right. You know, seriously, this this grading system has got to change. Well, I why did I go down? <laughs> I'm better than you. <laughs> Apparently, I am way better at finding things than you are. Send to my partner. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Um. 
okay. And I don't want to really add any friends because I'm still doing the review, so let's get that part. My name is Dave Simmons. I called the police as soon as I saw the hand in the garden. Yeah, that's probably a big deal right there. You did well. Stick around, Officer Lady Pisces, and I will have a look inside, see if we can find the rest of the body. Dirty bathroom. <laughs> so original. The person should have cleaned it, then it wouldn't be suspicious. So true. So true. It's like, if you're gonna commit a, a, a murder, you know, you might as well clean up the area after you're done. To the bathroom. I gotta pick a partner again. What happened to me? I, I was a good partner. You evidently went on break for like. Oh, good. Five, not, more than five hours. Like, no, wait, minutes. Yeah, five hours. You got a five hour that break. Means you can only solve something like. Well, that was for that one house thing. Yeah. So you can only have a partner for. Well, how many are there? There's five total? I guess so. That's kind of lame. Alright, let's. Fine, whatever, the redhead. Redheads are cool, right? I'm a redhead now. And your name's Grace. Eh, you know. Oh, 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 I no, no, no. I going to ask you to find the dead body. The victim's there body. There we go. <laughs> find the white sock. To the left here. No, the white sock. Find the cereal. Why is there cereal in the bathroom? I wonder what kind of cereal. Hey, look, there's clothes. Found the cereal. There's clothes. I didn't even mean to click on the bloody saw, but that's eh, okay. That's the weapon, apparently. I was gonna, I was clicking on the shorts. Those oh no! Those are victims' clothes. Oh, those are someone else's clothes. Okay, how about those? Ah, those are the victims' clothes. He wears a suit. He's ah. too good for shorts. And flammable liquid. <laughs> okay, juicy gasoline. Is it? Oh. It's shaking. Oh. It's, it's also shaking. This time I clicked like a wrong piece of clothing, so I'm probably gonna get like half a star. You got more than half. Yay! The, again, this this grading system makes no sense. I think you get more if you put money into the game. I got. I went better than Grace. Yeah. That's another thing, is that I, I keep going ahead of my partners. You earned a gold crown for being ranked number one in the dirty bathroom. Nice. <laughs> if you, you are number one in the dirty bathroom. <laughs> I, I don't know if I want to be number one in the dirty bathroom, but okay. Send to my partner. I don't know what... Splendid work, officer. That's obviously the second part of our victim. We need to send his body to the lab for an autopsy. According to his ID, our victim's name was Ned Dillard, and he was a mortgage broker. Ah, no wonder he died. We should take a better look at his clothes and the bottle of flammable liquid that you found in the bathtub. Oh, and the saw is undoubtedly our murder weapon. Well done, Lady Pisces. We've already made good progress in this case. Yep, that's the weapon. Where are we going now? Don't tell me. We're gonna examine the clothes. Oh, we don't have enough stars. We don't have enough stars to examine our stuff? Well, that's lame. How do you get stars? Just play. play to earn stars. But we I am playing. Hmm. Okay, um... You gotta play that again? Fun. That's ridiculous. That's why you get so low stars, so they make you keep playing and gotta use those paywalls and time walls. And now I got the autopsy doctor as I my partner. I was going to give this game a 2 out of 5 stars, but now I'm going to give it half a star. 
like it gives us. Yeah, this. It's, I think in the end that's only gonna make it fair. Like, what else do we possibly have to collect here? A Evidently, crown. a crown, which is right there. A boomerang. boomerang. Actually, the I. Can of pain again. Oh, there's the boomerang. Can of pain on the left side. The tennis racket again. The crow again. A hammer. Do you want to know how we just did that? <laughs> Now we're up to a star, but we still need another star to do all the evidence, so I guess off back to the other place. Wow. And I got better than Grace again, apparently? Your okay. device storage is full. Almost full. Oh. Alright, guys, so... Examine the flammable, it's going to cost one star, which we have one star. Or examine the victim's clothes, which is going to cost one star. Let's but go with clothes, that might be a All better right. clue. So, examine the clothes. We're going to use up our star. Solve the puzzle. Find. What are we finding? Ew. You found it! All you had to do was pull away the clothes. I found a gold pepper? Gold tooth. <laughs> oh! I thought it was a pepper! <laughs> Good. <laughs> Good job! Searching the victim's clothes off Sir Lady Pisces. I'm sure this gold tooth will help us to move forward. We'd better send it to the lab for an analysis. Let me guess, the lab's gonna cost, like, a star. Oh, no, it's not. Good. It only takes two minutes. Welcome, officer. Click on the autopsy button to begin. That's going to take 25 minutes. Unless we pay a dollar. Oh, my God. Okay. I quit. Okay. I'm out. We've got a two-minute wait on the tooth. Guys. All right, we're ending it here. <laughs> we're going to just end it here. I can't. You have to wait for these things. The, the try to find the clues is, is monotonous and also, like, first grade work. And then you have to try to pay for time. And you have to pay, like, you have to pay stars to do the investigating. I can't with this game. What I do don't... you rate this game? Out of, out of ten. We'll do out of ten. You know what? It gave me one star. I'm going to give it a half a star. And I give it less than half a star. I'm sorry, guys, but they're not all gems. And for this one, both me and my boyfriend agree, this one is just not a gem. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Yes. Rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks so much, guys. Take care.